Hello, I am working on my dissertation data and I'm using Intellectus and Google Sheets to style my charts and make them uniform throughout my paper. So this is just how I do it. I'm not sure this is the right way or the best way, but this is what I'm doing to style my charts a little bit differently than Intellectus will generate them by default and then make sure that they all sort of match for my dissertation. So here I am in Intellectus. I'm going to load this project that I'm working on and go down to analyses. And I'm using uh, my Likert data for this demonstration. So I'm going to use some descriptive stats just to display the results like this for one of my questions as a walkthrough. I'm going to descriptives and I will add one of my Likert questions. Let's choose this one. Confirm and I want it to do all the default things that it will do and calculate the results. So here we go. These are descriptive statistics for this particular question of my survey. It shows the most frequent response was strongly agree and the percentage of responses that go with that. I can also choose to look at the raw output if I just want to see, okay, there were 467 responses to this item and this is how the results um, laid out. So what I've been doing is to take this over to my uh, Google Sheets to style it into a chart. I'll just control C this table data and I called this my chart maker document because that is easy for me to remember. I'll paste that in there and then I'll go to insert chart and this is what I get. Now I don't want necessarily these percentages in here. I'm going to keep it nice and simple because I'll also have this tabular data in my Dissertation, I just want a chart to show, uh, to go along with the numbers. And I like having it visual. So I'm going to remove the C column. There we go. And now I can style it the way I want. So I'm going to customize. And I like to add a few things. I would change this to, um, let's see. I'll call it competence question one for now. And then I usually make that size a little smaller. Uh, I would make this the font black just to match the rest of my document. You can change the colors to match whatever you like. Um, you can change it so it's not so opaque. I like it 100%. But anyway, you can see, you can outline your bars, do whatever you like here. And I like to label my data. And you can change the grid lines that show up here. I want to keep this just kind of nice and simple. But you see, you can customize it to your heart's content here. Once you get it the way you like, you just choose download chart. I've been using a PNG because then I can import that into Word or Google Docs or uh, presentation slides, whatever you like. And then the neat thing about keeping this in this chart maker document is that I can just, once I have this styled the way I want, I can go and do another one. So if I want my next question to match, have the same kind of a chart, I'll go back to this one, different question, copy that same part of the table, paste it right over the top. And then the chart updates automatically. I would just change this title to uh, the title of this one. So this is a different question. I'll just give that a name for now. And then I don't have to mess with all those customizations again. It's the color, it's the font. It's the way I want them all to look and I'll download this one. So that's sort of my quick way style it once and then just for all of the questions that are the same format, paste it over the top. It will generate uh, an updated chart, download that one, and then import that into whatever document I need. Ta-da. Anyway, I hope that saves you some time. Uh, have fun with the research. Good luck.